Monica and her lovely hand gestures there. So I just wanted to show you. I kind of came up with these yesterday just kind of for kicks and giggles. We're possibly getting a chick, so, like, eh. But anyway, if you're ever, like, I don't know, in a pinch and you need to, like, make a feeder or water, these are, here, why don't you go grab my Dr. Pepper one out of there, too. And you can do these with, yeah, with almost any size bottles. This is a two liter bottle. This is a one liter bottle. Basically, here, do you want to pull it apart? That way I can kind of show, because that one's a little harder to explain. <laughs> choking. Okay, anyway, I just took a regular big Dr. Pepper bottle, yeah, and I don't really, you don't even have to do anything to the one, just take, like, the paper off. The other one, all you have to do is cut off the top, like, I'd say, like, I don't know if you can kind of see how much you should cut off, and then cut a little window in the bottom. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a little window in here, and then... Well, that's just a very, very big version of it. So then you fill this up with water and take this and put it on top. Oops. <laughs> kind of just hit it down. Yeah. So then the ch and then you flip it over. But the water will seep out, but the chicks can reach inside there and get it. This one actually has water in it, but they can poke their heads. And I have three holes on this one. I have one over here, two, and then one right here. But yeah, it's pretty easy, really. I haven't really, I, the only thing I'd change is I tried to, I like made this with a random kitchen knife so it's really jagged. So I would either like, first I'd probably like sand it down and then probably put like some duct tape around it just so they don't cut themselves or anything. I'd be a little nervous about that. And then, anyway, this is a feeder. I didn't fill it up all the way just because I'm not actually going to use it for demonstration purposes. Yeah, basically I took a milk carton bottom and took the top part of a liter of Mountain Dew, so I have the thing on it, and I cut like little holes here, and that part of that, the first two were to accommodate this little ridge, and the other two were to help more feed come out, but as you can see, if they start eating it and pecking at it, just more falls out, yeah. And it falls out around here too, I mean, I guess you could be exact, but it works. And I just kind of, I didn't really measure anything, I just kind of eyeballed most of it, so. But yeah, it works pretty well. It's, and I, <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell. I put it, I literally used hot glue. Oh, goodness. Make sure it's non-toxic. Yeah, though. make sure you don't have anything that's going to kill your chickens if they try to eat it. I mean, if they eat a whole bunch of it, obviously, it's not good for them. And it depends on how big you have your holes, too, because if you would have had, like, really big holes, then you probably wouldn't be able to tell that it's there. Like, if you have more holes or, like, a larger holes, that would fill it up further. But, yeah, just kind of a neat little, if you're ever in a rush, I mean, this is more of, like, a gravity-style feeder. Basically, what I did is I took the lid off. Yeah, yeah. Um, just put a funnel, and I can't video and do this, put a funnel in there and put it down. I did video, it was just, I kind of like went like this oh. a couple times. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There. <laughs> yeah, I just put that on there. And it works pretty well, so. I mean, I haven't tried it out, but it works just as good as. I would just say, make sure it's clean before you. Yeah. Rinse them out. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, and basically they can just. Okay. Chicken. Chickens don't eat like that. And then I. It's pretty easy to empty out too. Just wink. Oh, that's really close. They get vigorously. it for now guys and like I said you can make this with almost any like size type it would, and obviously it, it shouldn't probably be a permanent thing maybe something for a brooder but that's about it but yeah thanks for watching